Hello, people. Welcome to Veda Farms Academy. As you know, I always love, right? Welcome to the page. And now the day today too, we just want to continue with the topic that we have been discussing about poultry farming business plan. So today we are looking up to uh, the land size that you need for your thousand beds. But first of all, before we come to the topic. I just want to say thank you so much for the support that we are building a very strong family. And end of the day, uh, we are helping one another to be encouraged. If there is something that you started, I, I encourage you to start back again. Or maybe you back off, but you can start again. And if you're you, if you're youth, or if you're somebody in abroad and you want to go back home and start a business, or you are planning of starting a business, this is the page for you. Thank you so much for all the things that you're doing and all our subscribers. I really appreciate your support. And if you are new here and you want to join the family, you are really welcome so that we can help one another to build a family. As I always say, you reach out to me, I'm always available to help. Those that do all the time, I help them out so much. And today we just want to continue with the topic. And the topic is about the plot of size or the land size that you need for uh, to start your own pottery farming. At times, maybe you've started a pottery farming and the cage that you are using is not for you, it's for somebody. And maybe you are renting the cage and you are looking up to owning your own cage or, or your own land. And also maybe you are looking up to starting your own one. So what are some of the things that you need to consider before you buy the land? So today we are using a thousand uh, base as our case study. So what is this land size? So today we're going, we're going to consider the, the plot size or the land size that you need. The location that you need your uh, pottery is very, very important, people. And also the, uh, the, the price of the land. And the last one is the nature of the land. So if today is your first time, one more time, you can also subscribe. Thank you so much. And uh, I always love, so it's part of me. So let's consider the size of the, of the land that you need for thousand beds. So when you consider the uh, thousand bed cage, when you are building the cage, it is 40 by 40 or 40 by 50. When we were building ours, we were using 40 by 40. But now, if you ask me, I will encourage 50, uh, 50 by 40 because it's more spacious for the bears and of the day to increase production and it will increase uh, what is the name? It will increase uh, feed. Anything that we are doing, if you have space, you can imagine what it can do for you because it's more like it helps to control diseases. So, for 40 by 50, excuse me, for 40, uh, 50 by 40, looking at the structure size, so depending on the area that you are buying the land, if it is by uh, 90 by 80, 80 by 90, uh, 100 by 100, that means if you take 50 by 40 out of the land, that means you are short of only about a small size of plot that you can use for maybe store, uh, storehouse or something. So what will be the right size for you? I highly encourage if the, 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 this is the beginning that you are going or you are looking up to owning your own one, I encourage at least two plots of land because if you use like 40 by 50 or 40 by 40 to build your cage and build your storehouse, you can have another plot of land to work on it. Even if it's for planting maize, doing something different, have enough space so that you can also have that kind of biosecurity to at least cover your cage around. But if we can't in one plot, that is okay. You don't have to worry too much. So for thousand, the cage size is 50 by 40. So when it fits on the land, you can have a little bit of land for the storeroom. And the next one that we want to go to is the location. As I've said earlier, the, uh, the location is very important. And anytime you're going to buy a land for property farming, people, don't look to the residential areas. When I mean the residential areas, I'm not talking about big houses, no. I'm talking about where the, you see the community is developing its way. Don't go there. Because some years, like five years, six years, they'll be catching up to you. And when they catch up, 
there is going to be a very big uh what is the name pressure on you to move it i have a i have a very very good example at our area where somebody bought a land a very big land and the community was developing up to that page about 10 years now or five years now and now the tennis in court because they need the land the community is pressuring them and because of the the smell of the pottery which is coming on them they can as so that case is in court and if they don't have money to just stand uh, to against that you're gonna be in a very difficult situation so when you are building your cage you go to ask of the town where you think the town is not developing its way so you may have the peace and the 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 the, 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 uh, the environment that will help you to build your cage and start your own poultry farm so the location is very very important don't just go buy plots anyhow anywhere because then the time you know you'll be within the middle of the town and everybody will pressure you the next video i'll be coming with is light and uh, water because mostly because people think i need water i need light let me build in the town no i'll come out with the light and the water which is our next step and teach you it's not really something you should be using that to buy land in the town no the next one that you should be looking up to the price of the land if you go to the aspect of the town because most people are not residing there that will cost that will reduce the the, the 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 price of the land but if you are more into the into the area where the land is developing or the land is going people you're going to be buying land at uh, the land at a very high prices because for example where i am land is costing like almost three thousand ghana cities for per plot but the first time i went it was very low like almost 1500 or something now we are looking up to 3000 that's how it is and another thing about the price of the land if they give you one plot try to buy it because the issue is as you continue to be in that area you get people who will sell their land to you uh being a benefit of that the people will come there and just say maybe you do you want to buy this and you add it to it you want to buy this and you want it to you buy to it so if you get even one thousand it's good for you to start with it and end of the day you will be okay so the next one let's consider the nature of the land do my uh, pottery farm have to be in a waterlogged area where there is a lot of water no people does my uh, land uh, my pottery have to be on a rocky area no people because there are areas especially that's why i say the nature of the land there are areas if you if you make your poultry farm to be in that area they are very prone to diseases especially gumbolo and other diseases depending on the environment so when choosing the site you have to be very careful especially water lock areas and all that where places are very cold the net and also if you have a water lock area and you build your cage it can be destroyed or the you know it can start to uh say the water which will be start to be uh, bringing the water up or sucking the water up which can lead to the collapse of the cage and you build cage every two years every three years which is not good for you so people these are some of the things that you have to consider when you are buy when you are buying your pottery land the size if it's thousand best two is okay if it's what and even if you get one buy it and you continue to develop your way up uh, the price of the land is very important i can't give you a specific price because you know wherever you live whether it's kenya ghana africa any part of it, this because they buy land at different prices but go outside ask it of the town that will help you to gain a land at a very affordable prices and uh don't consider it's too far away no people will come to you and uh nature of the land not the waterlogged area no a very uh rocky area bring it to an area that is very nice for you and uh lastly as you all said i'll be coming out with a video with a water and the light how where you need it so people welcome back once again please subscribe to our page and let's build a very strong family you can reach out to me and i'm always willing to help you and my phone number is 360-471-8112 if you need more just reach out to me and it's a us number you can whatsapp me but add plus one to it no matter where you are or if you're in the united states you can try to neglect it so people as i said my name is kennedy and welcome back one more time and end of the day so next time we meet 
I say chase your dream and money will follow you. Peace. Shalom.